Yo, what's good everybody? It's Young John and today I'm going to show y'all how to get iOS 15.6.1 and five new features that it includes. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to your settings and then go to general. And first I'm going to tap on where it says about so you can see what version I'm on right now, which is 15.6. And now from here you're gonna go backwards and put software update I was 15.6.1 and this is a pretty small update so it's gonna ask you for your passcode after you press download and install it's asking me if I want to use cellular data to download it in case I get disconnected from Wi-Fi so I hit yes to use cellular data and then it says update requested you just have to wait for that and now I'm gonna tap on that blue link to show you what it does and it brings you to the Apple security updates page and on this page it shows you on the right the release date of an update on the left it shows you what system and in the middle it shows you what devices are compatible for that update so the newest update for this video that came out today you have to have an iPhone 6s or newer for this update to be available to you so now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna fast forward to when it tells me I can install the update so you guys don't have to watch a 30 long 30 minute long video of my phone just updating hell no get that features, the fuck out of here one of the here. new things about this update is that Apple Music won't randomly pause while you're playing the music so apparently a lot of people were having complaints saying that they'd be using Apple Music and their phone would just pause the song randomly so I guess this update fixes that and now look it finished once it finishes you can hit install now and then it shuts off your device and I'm gonna tell you guys what number two is uh, it's a security update so now that your phone's even more secure and look now I'm on iOS 15.6.1 and when I tap on software update, your iOS is up to date. Okay, so number three is improved performance opening applications. So when you're opening apps, like you're opening your Safari, your Twitter, your Apple Music, all those apps apparently open faster than they used to. And number four is more bug fixes. And number five, is that your iPhone is going to start to cool down in a few days after it's processing the new data. So every time you get a new update, your phone starts to get hot for like the first few days, like the back of the phone. But I guess it'll cool down faster than what it usually would. And that's the video, y'all. If y'all found this video helpful, make sure to hit it with a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank y'all for watching. I'm out. Peace.